We begin tonight with an update on the future plans for College of the Desert's Palm Springs campus. News Channel 3's Jennifer Franco is live in studio with key takeaways from a presentation at tonight's city council meeting. Jen. Yeah, Karen, that's right. And as we've reported for a decade now, it's been a long road for this long delayed project. And now with the project getting closer to breaking ground, there's more clarity on what the campus will look like and what it'll offer students. What we're seeing today is, I think, reflective of what uh, was promised to the community uh, and what the community wanted to see happen. Plans for a new College of the Desert campus in Palm Springs are getting praise from city council members. More details were put on display by college leadership during an hour-long presentation. It highlighted what the 167,000 gross square foot campus will offer students, including greater mobility. This goes from the mobility hub all the way up and this, this lar large line there is for walkability and bikeability. Also, a look at the most up-to-date renderings of multifunctional spaces students can look forward to, including flexible classrooms and a film screening room. New educational programming that's currently in the works was also discussed. We are evaluating the possibility of several um, degrees, one of them being casino management. The only other program is in Las Vegas. City Council members also raised questions about sustainability. I know in the other presentation I saw you talked about sustainability of the whole campus and did you, I don't, maybe I missed that today. We are an all electric campus except for the gas in the labs and the Culinary Institute. Everything is going to be natural to the desert. Uh, we are going to do minimal irrigation. COD has already committed and spent $56 million on the project, which is set to cost a total of more than $400 million. COD officials are working to submit their final plans to the state architect and expect construction to start by the end of the year. And they expect construction to take two years and classes to begin in the spring of 2027. Now you can find the full presentation right now on our website, KESQ.com. Reporting live in studio, Jennifer Franco, News Channel 3.